In this lesson, we will try to define what is epidemiology and also try to identify the main issues in the definition of epidemiology. Public health is a blend of sciences, skills and convictions that is focused on preservation and improvement of health of all people through preventive measures rather than curative measures. The word epidemiology comes from the Greek words. Epi means among or upon. Demos means people. Logos means study of. Literally, epidemiology carries the meaning, the study of what is upon the people. Let's look at the definition of epidemiology. Epidemiology is a study of frequency, distribution and determinants of diseases and any other health related conditions in human populations and the application of the study to the promotion of health and to the prevention and control of health programs. Here in this definition, we have certain important components. The components are study, frequency, distribution, determinants, health related conditions, populations and application. First let us look at what is study. Epidemiology is a basic science of public health. It is a highly quantitative discipline based on principles of statistics and research methodologies. Now the disease frequency. This is concerned with frequency or occurrences of diseases and other health related conditions. It can be measured by morbidity or mortality rates. The basic measure here is either rate or a ratio and it is a vital step in the development of strategies for prevention or control of health problems. Next is the distribution of disease. Distribution actually refers to the geographical distribution of the diseases, the distribution in time and place and by type of people affected. Time characteristics include annual occurrence, seasonal occurrence and daily or even hourly occurrence. Place characteristics include geographical variation, urban rural differences and location of work sites or schools. Personal characteristics include demographic factors such as age, race, sex, marital status and socio-economic status as well as behaviors. The outcome of the study is to formulate etiological hypothesis and characterization of health events in terms of time, place and person. So finally, and finally, all these things can be actually described by something called as descriptive epidemiology. Next is the determinants of the disease. Epidemiologists also attempt to search for causes or factors that are associated with increased risk of probability of disease. Basically, they are factors which determine whether or not a person will get a disease. This type of epidemiology, where we move from questions of who, what, where and when and start trying to answer how and why, is referred to as analytical epidemiology. Next is the health related conditions. Here, the health related conditions are conditions which directly or indirectly affect or influence health. They may be injuries, births, health related behaviors like smoking, unemployment and poverty etc. Next is the population. The main focus of epidemiology is on the effect of the disease on the population rather than on individuals as seen in clinical medicine. Application Finally, although epidemiology can be used Simply as an analytical tool for studying diseases and other determinants, it serves a more active role. This means the whole aim in studying the frequency, distribution and determinants of the disease is to identify effective disease prevention and control strategies and protect public health. This is the primary function of applied or field epidemiology. There are many examples of applied epidemiology. For example, the monitoring reports of communicable disease, evaluation of effectiveness and impact of awareness programs, clinical trials, randomizing communities into different strategies for risk reduction. Finally, 
uh, epidemiologist as defined by a dictionary of epidemiology in 2008 epidemiologist is a professional who strives to study and control the factors that influence the occurrence of disease or health related conditions and events in specific populations and societies has an experience in population thinking and epidemiological methods and is knowledgeable about public health and causal inference in health in short an epidemiologist is a public health professional because of the emphasis on disease prevention a clinician because of the emphasis on disease classification and diagnosis a pathophysiologist because of the need to understand basic biological mechanisms in disease a biostatistician because of the need to quantify disease frequency and its relationships to antecedents and also a social scientist because of the need to understand the social context in which disease occurs and presents epidemiology is considered a basic science of public health epidemiology is a quantitative discipline built on a working knowledge of probability statistics and sound research methods a method of causal reasoning based on developing and testing hypotheses pertaining to occurrence and prevention of morbidity and mortality a tool for public health action to promote and protect public health based on science causal reasoning and a dose of practical common sense public health practitioners rely on a large extent on epidemiological data to provide valuable information about the health of the population it is therefore important to understand the principles behind epidemiological methods and techniques